Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I have my April favourites. Um, it's coming a little bit early, but I'm packing up my room, so I wanted to talk about all my favourite things. So if this sounds like a bit of you, please keep on watching. But before you do, hit the red subscribe button down below. And let's get into it. Also, who likes my new jumper? It's from Collusion. It's like green, and the Collusion's in a hot pink. I literally think this is so sick. In my opinion, what do you all think? I feel like I wish I had hot pink nails to match instead of red, but we're here for it. So let's start off with beauty like we always do. It'll be a bit like beauty, random stuff, TV shows, stuff like that. So I think that actually has some of my hair in it. That was a bit disgusting. I'm so sorry. Right. I literally only got this this week. But I have my like normal tangle teaser. I have my normal tangle teaser. I need to take the hair out of it. But okay, these are the best thing ever. These are the best things ever. So I love my normal tangle teaser. But okay, I got this like mini one because I only have that hairbrush that I actually really like. And I was like, you know what? I just want like a spare one to have. And I thought I'd get the like wet hair one and I used this last night. My my hair honestly has never been so tangled than it is like right now. Like this last month, it's been a struggle because I feel like I'm not going out as much. Like I need a routine of like, like I'll just have a day where I'm like, I'm not going to brush my hair today when I probably should. This has saved my hair. This was £9 off Amazon, which I mean for a diddy brush is a bit much, but... I don't want to, I want a brush that I can put in my bag, like my small bag, so I never lose it. And this is literally the most perfect thing. And they had loads of different colours, but I love the like um, aqua green and the purple. And I think it's really cute. I'm definitely going to link it down below. But the wet tangle teasers, I'm probably going to have to get a full size one because it's saved. Honestly, and to be fair, the size of it hasn't bothered me at all. Like it's literally been perfect for brushing my hair with. And I'm literally buzzing with this. So this is the first favourite of the month. Okay, next is something a little bit random, but um, my mum's friend gifted me these um, like bath oils, which I've actually never used before. Um, I've used these, but like before, um, from Library of Scent, which is from m and Beauty. So this one's pomegranate. I've used up three of them. I've had grapefruit, pomegranate, and I had fig last night. Right, I've never tried bath oils and I don't know why because these are amazing. They make your bath smell incredible. They make like some bubbles. They make it so nice. There's a little bit left in them all. The grapefruit one is probably my favourite, but I love anything with like pomegranate. No, the grapefruit one's my favourite. I've got one left, which is petals, which I think I'm going to use today or tomorrow whenever I fancy a bath. Um... But yeah, these are literally amazing. I think next time I go to M&S, um, like there's a big one like 30 minutes away and they have like a beauty section. So I think I actually might pick some up for myself. They're just so nice. I've never had bath oils, never thought to even buy them ever. But I feel like now I just really, really want them because they're literally so good. can't remember what fig smell like. Oh, woody. Quite nice. But yeah, I literally love these and if you go to MS regularly or you just like the sound of bath oils, definitely try them out because you can't go wrong with bath oils. They're just so lovely. Next, I literally just went to the shop to pick one of these up. Okay, my hair actually needs some of this right now. I will wash my hair and it still isn't looking like it's best at the minute and it's really annoying me, but... This Batiste dry shampoo, I feel like this is probably everyone's favourite, but I literally love it. Um, I just got the coconut and exotic tropical scent, but I literally just pick up any scent. I think they're all good. I think I had blush last time. I'm trying to smell it. Okay, I can't smell anything. Oh, I can. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I think I might prefer that. But yeah, you all, I've got it in my mouth now. You all just need this dry shampoo. It's the best. 
this was on offer in Morrison's for two pounds so I snatched one up but I feel like you can get them in home bargains or anywhere but literally the best things ever I feel like I didn't use dry shampoo for the longest time and now I'm obsessed with it this is my favorite one I sometimes get the ones that are like 79p from home bargains um but I feel like these ones are just 10 times better let me know if you have any favourite dry shampoo brands because I'm always trying to look for more. Even when I've washed my hair, I feel like it just gives your hair nice texture. It makes it, like, voluminous, you know. But, yeah, I literally love this. And does that count as beauty as well? Hair care? I'd say it does. So, let's carry on with hair care. Honestly, I'm running a bit low on this now and that makes me so sad, but um i literally lost this and only just found it like this month and oh, my hair needs this okay olaplex number six i feel like i use this one on number three um bond smoother oh, this makes your hair this makes my hair look blonder feels so much better detangles it everything oh i just this is the one it's the one for me i feel like Olaplex is just so amazing. Has anyone tried the dupes that Superdrug, I think, have come out with? Um, or is it Revolution? Revolution always come out with the best things. Um, but I definitely want to try that as well because this just saves my hair. And I do want to go lighter again and like do the balayage again from home because I've not done that since January. But I'm scared of damaging my hair. But this just helps it. Like the first time I balayage my hair at home i did it twice and the second time my hair felt like straw until i put this on <laughs> i don't recommend doing your hair by yourself at home but sometimes it just happens okay just happens so literally the best and i couldn't recommend it enough to be honest i think it's like 26 pounds i get mine from cult beauty just comes quick and yeah so next is this powder if you've watched my vlogs i feel like i'm using this powder in every video and i've just been using it up to be honest but i feel like i need to talk about it because this powder and my revolution one is so good so it's the fit me matte and poreless mine is in 115 ivory um again you can see how much i love it i'm using it up but this from my i've just lost the little poof for it it just fell i mean i'll never use it and i probably never will but now it's on the floor um but this is just really really nice like it reminds me of the mac studio fix like that sort of i don't know texture or finish on the skin i really like it though um i think i'd definitely buy this again um my banana revolution one is probably my favorite ever but this is the one i'm gravitating more towards because i don't want to do loose powder every day it's just a bit annoying really so i think this is really really good as well they always do really good um deals on maybelline so i got this and like the maybelline fit me no not the fit me foundation i can't remember it the 24 hour one that like stays on your face <laughs> i don't know what it's called um but they do really good deals on superdrug where you get two for 12 pounds so i get this and the foundation together or two of the foundations for 12 pound and i think it's a really good deal so definitely check superdrug out for that i think that is actually it on the beauty front i mean it wasn't that much i'm not gonna lie um i feel like i've just been using the same stuff as i always do like my book of magic and my like revolution bronzer and stuff like that my huda beauty foundation so i didn't really want to talk about it all again but they are still my favorite still loving them still use them every day um i've just not really been purchasing makeup just because i bought a car <laughs> can't afford anything now <laughs> no more holes from the rain although this this is cute isn't it you know <laughs> favorite for next month i just love green at the minute honestly like anything colorful i'm here for so my next favorite is another expensive expensive <laughs> expensive purchase of the month so let me get it my macbook i mean i have the macbook air 
literally love it so much honestly i'm knocking everything off i'm so sorry if you can hear it all but i have always wanted one of these we had them at six form and i've just never owned one they've been so expensive i really wanted one for uni and now um i actually just don't use my ipad at all i don't mind paying for it <laughs> But this, like, for YouTube especially and for work, I use it every single day for work. But for YouTube, like, editing on, like, my iPad just used to run out of space. This just doesn't. And I can edit all my videos on it, make better intros and stuff like that. Um, let me know if you like my new intro. It's quite simple, but <laughs> I quite like simple. And, yeah, it's literally the best thing I've ever had. So if you're ever wondering or you're like umming and ahhing about it, definitely get one. I use it every single day. I'm hardly ever off it. It is the best thing I've ever got. Um, well, I mean, hopefully my car is as well. <laughs> Can't wait to get that. Um, that'll be a favourite next month. Imagine, I might do my favourite sat in the car next month. I sounded so northern then. Um, but yeah, this is another favourite. Um, not really much to say other than the fact that this is the best thing I've probably ever spent my money on because i'm using it all day every day and the sound on it is so good it's got like you put your thumb like it's got thumb recognition um which i think is so cool for a laptop i mean is that normal for laptops now i um just used owens because mine was basically dead like you turn it on it overheat so that was good but yeah next favorite of the month and i'm going to place this down carefully because i really don't want to break it um <laughs> i don't want to pay for that <laughs> okay let's talk about music and tv so tv shows i've only really been watching two things um come down with me i watch every single day i will watch about like five episodes of everyone doing it like three times a day so that is literally like 50 episodes a day which is a bit weird but it's just what i do it's on the background like when i'm making stuff for work and stuff like that it's when I eat, it's on in the background. When I go to sleep, it's on. I'm obsessed. Honestly, I've not found the What a Sad Little Life Jane episode yet. Or, like, any of the really funny ones. I did watch one last week with... No, last night with a woman with a really, really funny laugh. And she and this other man fell out and she walked out. And it was really funny. Like, it did give me a little bit of drama. I did really enjoy it. I will watch the celebrity ones all the time. I mean, I know who wins. I know what they cook. I will just keep watching them because I'm obsessed with Come Down With Me. Anyone else? Is that really weird? Um, but yeah, that is on all the time. I'm, I can't stop watching it. And then something that I didn't think I'd ever like, um, but Owen's obsessed with it, is Death in Paradise. But we watch at least one episode of that every single day. And I'm really enjoying it. Um, I don't even know how to explain it if you don't know what it is. <laughs> it's like there'll be a murder and they like solve it at the end of the episode and every episode is like the same for like gang um but who solved the murders but everything's different it's sort of like csi in some weird way um but it's i think it's based in saint marie in the caribbean or somewhere like that um but yeah i'm really enjoying that um the last episode i watched that was really boring so like this morning so maybe i'm gonna retract that <laughs> no. but yeah that's really really good i'm really enjoying them two at the minute they're the top the top two top two things i've been absolutely loving and then there's only one queen for music one and it is taylor swift's album taylor's version do you know what it's just so good i feel like it brings me back to my youth like i literally used to be obsessed with taylor swift from year six onwards like when she went really poppy and stuff i feel like i didn't really vibe with her anymore i prefer like the country taylor the old school taylor so wow it's been amazing i've been that's going to be the first thing i listen to in my new car how many times like i literally have a shot for every time i mention that stupid car but it costs enough money so i will um I'm gonna take a shot sorry i'm not like that i'm not like that these days <laughs> but yeah i 
let me think about my favourite songs. Mr. Perfectly Fine. Hello, Mr. Perfectly Fine. How's your heart after breaking mine? Um, Tell Me Why is probably right at the top. And I mean, I feel like everyone loves, like, The Way I Loved You and stuff. Like, it's really good to scream that, you know, passionately scream that. That's a good one. But Tell Me Why and Mr. Perfectly Fine are the ones that I replay all the time. Um, they both come on first, you know, they've got to fight for that winning spot, but I can't pick. It was Tell Me Why, but now it, it's edging on Mr. Perfectly Fine. I just love Tell Me Why. Yes, I remember what you said last night. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't have a career in singing, so, like, don't come for me. It's just a joke. <laughs> don't come for me. <laughs> I can't sing. Okay, so that was music and stuff like that food wise it's not really been exciting i am mcdonald's again it's just the favorite i can't stop eating the chips it's just mcdonald's fries and mcflurries like i think i just spat i'm so sorry <laughs> not on you but on my phone so it's a bit weird if you saw it come out my mouth but yeah for food it's been like kit kat still nothing's really changed this month but i still really wanted to make this video because especially for like the hairbrush, the MacBook and the bath oils, like I just wanted to like preach about them and I feel like this is just the only way to do it. So yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Sorry that it wasn't as much as I would normally do, um, but I still wanted to get a video up for you all. So I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you soon for a brand new video and it'll probably be a vlog. Bye.